Hi everyone, um, welcome to Nourish London and Landform Consultants session. Um, we wanted to, as part of Chelsea Flower Show, which takes place from the 24th to 28th of May, we wanted to talk all things gardening. And we're delighted to be joined today by Matt Moore from Landform Landscape Gardening Consultants. Thank you for joining us today, Matt, and taking time out of your busy schedule. I know you're adding the finishing touches to Super Bloom at the Tower of London for the Queen's Jubilee, and you're also involved with building three gardens at the Chelsea Flower Show. So thanks for taking time out for this. Thank you, Amanda. Um, yes, delighted to talk to you and share my passion for gardening and landscaping with you. My whole career, of which of some 35 years, has all been about creating some beautiful gardens and public open spaces for people to enjoy, relax and gain calm and inspiration. Fantastic. Wow. That's a lot of time you've been involved in this, so I'm sure you have a wealth of information to share with us. Um, I mean, gardening offers such a wide variety of benefits to the body and the mind, and it's also great for the environment. What would you say are some of the benefits of gardening, Matt? Um, I think... Um, it's great to be outside in the fresh air, creating and nurturing a space for relaxation and pleasure. Mm. One can get home from work and potter in their garden, which I must admit I love to do, especially my gin and tonic spot. I always, <laughs> find, I always find gardening keeps me fit and healthy. Creating a new ball, planting border, digging up some existing turf really gets your heart pumping. I love creating space for entertaining, cooking, my barbecue, cooking on my barbecue and special time with my young family. That's great. Thank you. Um, I mean, obviously, it's it's great for lowering stress and blood pressure and even improves your, improves your memory. Um, the studies that it can improve your cognitive That's function. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Um, helps you to eat healthier if you're growing your own fruits and vegetables. Um, and also, obviously, can take help take um, some of the carbon emissions out of the atmosphere. So it has a lot of environmental benefits as well. That's correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and we know that obviously gardening has increased in popularity over the last couple of years as people have been spending more time at home. And a lot of our customers are passionate gardeners. Do you have any tips for those just starting out? Yes, well, I do. Um, I think um, I think that one of the biggest things is don't be afraid to try, try things like plant locations and combinations. Don't be afraid to do that. So if it doesn't work, you can always move plants around in, in the autumn when the plants aren't growing. Um, if a plant isn't happy, if it's in the wrong place and it's struggling, um, it's not growing, you can always move it. I think the other thing as well is um, when you move into an, a new house, if, you, when, if you've got a garden, um, is to observe it for the first year to see what plants you have um, and where the sun rises and sets. This then you can create the appropriate seating areas. Um, and you can plan your garden, plants, etc. around this. Fantastic. And I know that's something I certainly did when we moved into our house. We did wait for a year before we planted anything just to see, you know, where the, the sunspots were, where the shady areas were. So that that's we right. Could... Some of the basic stuff you won't see when you move in and it comes mm. up in the spring and you don't know it's there until it pops up. So Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here at Nourish London, we only use natural and organic ingredients in our products. And um, we also love using a lot of garden plants and herbs, um, for example, aloe vera, geranium flower oil, lavender essential oil, rosehip seed oil, and even rosemary. What are your favourite garden plants, Matt, and why? Um, to be honest, I love all plants and trees. Um, every garden and public space are different, so wide and variety of plants can be used. My favourite small tree is the Parotia persica, commonly known as the Persian ironwood, which has a lovely large beech-like leaf and is an amazing autumn colour in which the leaf turns yellow, then red. Yeah. I have two in my garden, which are actually multi-stems. With regards to plants, um, I love prairie type of planting, grasses such as Calamagrasis carl foster, Echinacea, Anthrisus, which is the cow parsley, Alliums, fennel, verbena, and I love the origarum, the little small daisy. Um, you can put that in little crevices and etc. Mm -hmm. um, and there's so many more plants which I love. Um, but I think the, I think the main thing I love is is the combinations and the leaf texture and the and the flower colours. Fantastic, thank you. Um, obviously, some of aren't, us aren't blessed with a huge garden, particularly those of us who live in London. 
what would you suggest for, a, for example, a small patio area or a balcony or even a window box? Um, what, in relation to actual plants or? Yeah, uh, what plants would you plant in, in those small uh, spaces? I think I think you, if you had like pots, I think always you know, lavender and rosemary was very good because you got yeah. the, um, the, the the lovely aroma coming from those. Definitely. Um, um, it, it, I like large leaf plants as well, things like um, fatsias, um, things like that. Really, so you know, that's, that that worked yeah. well in a, a small space. Small spaces, herbs as well, I suppose. If you've herbs, got, yeah, um, herbs you know, a balcony, yeah. you can use those in in your cooking as well. So it's got a double benefit. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and you, you started Landform 20 years ago with your long-term friend and colleague, Gregory. Um, what's been your proudest moment during your career at Landform or even before that? Um, as, you, as you say, I've been working for Landform for almost 20 years and um, I'm the co-founder with um, my best friend, Mark, Mark Gregory. Um, we worked together for, actually for 35 plus years, which is which is wow. a really long time. Long time. <laughs> yeah, we have we both share the same infectious passion for landscaping. Yeah. I would say that my our proudest achievement would be the recent construction of the gardens around the new hilltop building at RHS Wisley. Yeah. Um, the three gardens, the well-being, the wildlife, and the production gardens. They're just so amazing. Um, I love taking my family there and watching them mature. Yeah, I've been there too. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. It's, amazing. it's yeah. amazing, really amazing. And yeah. obviously to get the contract to Superbloom, that must have been one of your, you know, hugest achievements. What a fantastic opportunity. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's a lead from Wisley. So, um, you know, so it's, it's, that's come from that. So, and that is an, a, a wonderful thing to be involved with, which we're just finishing off, as you said yeah. earlier. Definitely. Yeah, so hopefully oh, I can't this, wait, can't wait to see it. Been, it's been warm and <laughs> it's been warm and wet last couple of days so hopefully the wildflowers are growing away nicely yeah fantastic yeah um gardening is also a great activity to get little ones involved in um my 10 year old in particular loves having sunflower competition each year and he, he usually wins um what are the best plants for kids to plant do you think um, yeah, sunflowers are they're fab and for, for, for um, young ones, they're great. But I think I'd add to that as well, vegetables. Yeah. Like um, green runner beans, carrots, strawberries, pumpkins. I mean, young ones love to see these grow because they grow so quickly. So mm. they can see they can see it sort of growing weekly and and um, and, and they can reap the rewards at the table as well. Which Definitely. Is, obviously fantastic yeah um i think for older older children i think probably is planting small trees with interest so you've got a lot, like the bark interest or autumn color so you know, teenagers can can learn from that really I'd say. yeah yeah thank you that's that's great um what else can we do in our gardens to help the environment um i think that um uh, so it's help um uh bees and wildlife, um, you know, to trap bees. I mean, you could plant plants which are bee friendly, like lavender, rosemary, honeysuckle, abelia, things like that. Um, you could do a no mow, no mow may, which also encourages our little friends. Um, alternatively, you could, you could sow a meadow. I have three separate um, ones in my gardens, these are three separate meadows with different plant combinations and flowering at different times, which attract all sorts of wildlife and mm. small songbirds as well. Lovely. Um, saying that, unfortunately, my window cleaner flattened half of one meadow this week. <laughs> but oh, it will dear. come back. <laughs> yeah, so not yeah. pleased about that. But oh, there you no. Go. But, um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, there's been a massive decline in the bee population over recent years, which is likely to have a disastrous impact on global agriculture. So, you know, anything we can do to help to help these little creatures would be great. So yeah. um, the meadows yeah. is the way forward, really, it really is. So you see a lot of councils, you know, leave their um, leave the long grass, leave their grass yeah. verges, some of the long so that, you know, it encourages wildlife and bees, mm -hmm. et cetera. And plant wildflowers as well, wildflower meadows. Oh, yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, great. yeah. So. thank you. Um, well, thank you so much, Matt, for taking the time out to join us today and, and sharing some of your top gardening tips. Um, I'm sure our customers will find them really useful. And best of luck with Super Bloom. 
I'm certainly hoping to go and see it myself. I, I really hope it goes well for you. And congratulations as well. Um, fantastic opportunity well, for you. Well, thank you. Thanks, Amanda. It's, it's been great talking to you and just giving you a glimpse of what a wonderful career I have in horticulture. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thanks for joining us, Nourish Customers.